We're going to find out. Let's play pickleball. And tomahawk season early from DJ Young. Quickly, what are you looking for here? Yeah, so first off, I just have to say zero, zero, none one. of these four players have made a championship Sunday in doubles in their career. So Loong and DJ Young been on the pickleball pro scene a little longer, Point. whereas Garnett and Alshon, more of the rising star. So this would be a huge accomplishment for either one, team zero, for different reasons. And you get a lot of craftiness. DJ Young is the ultimate. I've got every shot and then some you didn't even know existed in, in his bag of tricks. Yeah, he's got the most, the widest variety of offensive arsenal on the court, for sure. And Loon was able to flow in there and knock one back, but uh, the whole right side of the court's open. Very athletic team on both sides. Yeah, yeah, you're going to see a lot of Ernie's on both sides. Maybe a little bit more of an edge from Fair ball striking, one. especially at the baseline for all, uh, all Sean and Garnett, but more variety of attacking from Loom and especially from DJ Young. Zero, one, two. See Loom running around to try to play the forehand dink. If there is a safety zone on the court, it's um, Christian Alshon rolling his forehand dink out wide to the backhand dink of Tyler Loom. It's very consistent there, but not very aggressive to, to create offense. I mean, Tomahawk <laughs> season. Look at the angle he just found one, there. One, that one. Is, he's so entertaining. Yeah, a couple players have adopted that Tomahawk. You can see how the extreme angle can be created with that approach. And there's the Ernie King. Brandon French was really Mr. Tomahawk starter, one of them, certainly DJ Young as well, but uh, you extend the paddle and the reach when you reverse it like that, and some fun stuff comes from it, and it is showtime here and there. Right on cue is the showtime shot for Garnett. Yeah, we see the power he has, but showing some great control, holding that and placing it to the open court at the last second. Usually Garnett will take the left hand off the paddle when it gets low and just slice three, one, that two. cross court. Looked like a little indecision on his part there. Wow. <laughs> and you saw Tyler Lung's like, I was going to destroy that with the lefty Scorpion was ready. And then just hopped over. Yeah, just just how uh, Garnett drew it up, yeah. I'm sure. I mean, hit it right. I mean, that was going to get just absolutely mauled, but tape said no. I mean, you want to talk about entertainment value in a men's match. We've got everything. We've got Ernie's, ATP's, everything rolling, and it's just 3-1 early. And ball put away ability for Young and Loon is three, one, one. quite difficult to stop. Yeah, Loon's a great counter punch. You may not be able to initiate offense in all the situations, but tough player to attack, really has more of that forehand leaning grip. If you can get him in the body, take your chances, but it's a tough spot to find. Three, one, two. Can't get to the kitchen to add to the lead, so Alshon and Garnett get it back. And one, three, one. And Alshon was able to scamper an earlier drop shot, but not that one. Great disguise. 
And when you have the full arsenal, you just don't know what's coming. It's very needed in a match like this where it's tough to put the ball away against high-level athletes in Alshon and Garnett. It's part of the show. Yeah, and you're gonna get your, your peaks and valleys with DJ Young. I don't hate the play, but again, with a wide <laughs> arsenal of what he can do, sometimes he goes for a little too much. Just didn't quite curl the ATP in there from Alshon. And Alshon's a confident doubles player. You have him on your DC pickleball team. He's been playing great with Riley Newman. Yeah, been able to see his progression firsthand, and he is the real deal, folks. And why is he the real deal now? Yeah, so you see what he's capable of athletically, but he's very driven, has that champion mindset, um, really has a goal of not just being a pro, but being the number one player in the world, and hasn't played the right side much, but getting very confident over there in a very short amount of time. Normally prefers the left. Four, three, two. But with the Garnett two-handed backhand, you want to feature that. Beautiful two-handed drive there from DJ Young, extending the play and earning an error. Ooh, just sailed deep. Another jump of the Ernie where it was too shallow and DJ couldn't get enough on it. I tell you, it's a tough team to dink up the line though against with as often as they're jumping the kitchen. <laughs> DJ Young's like, yeah, but I have put away power. Good communication, though. Yeah, two lively arms. As long as there's early communication, you'd like your chances with either forehand putting that ball away. That's pretty from Alshon right there, finding offense off the bounce. Yeah, he has very easy power. It's very smooth, very effortless, but can create a lot on his own. Very makeable ball there for Tyler Loon. Good drop by Alshon, but certainly an unforced error for his standard. And to me, that's the best pattern for Alshon and Garnett. If they can play a few dinks cross-court Alshon specifically for the Tyler Loon backhand, Six, five, they're likely two. to be able to dictate the action for most of the rest of the point. And just a couple of misses for See here, John's brother's upset. Riley Newman was in this half of the draw. He was auditioning Duckle Bar today. That did not go well. Yeah, lost to Connor Garnett and Christian Alshon, who played a heck of a match to, to take down that team. And the Spaniard just said, <laughs> just get that out of there. One of the best young tennis players for a while in Spain was DJ Young, now lives out here in California. has always been, you know, for the several years, one of the most talented players in pickleball, just with what he's capable of doing. Does everything well, but again, sometimes when you have that much that you can do, sometimes that discipline goes off the rails at times. Oh no, and they got an absolute layup with two paddles in the middle. And Yeah, a lot of advantages of the lefty-righty combo, yeah. but the disadvantage, very tough to communicate on that middle forehand, especially in a fast exchange.
I think DJ Young's going to go. I understand you have good finishing power, Tyler, but I have reached to find angles. So uh, he's not used to that, but we'll see. But really nice play there from DJ Young. Great deep serve. Yeah, again, that pattern of the heavy forehand topspin roll of Christian Alshon pushing Tyler Loong back on the backhand side. A nice low drive there from Connor Garnett. Certainly not an easy volley from Tyler Loong dipping below the height of the net. Young had the read, but again, that Loon paddle was kind of in the way for him just a little bit. Yeah, Loon trying to get out of that cross court pattern by resetting to Connor Garnett, but he's so dangerous firing with that two handed backhand. Wow, and all the impressive firework. Game two underway here. Wow, and after all those firefights, it's a missed drop volley, but Christian Alshon, my goodness. Firefight, anyone? That was a lot of fun to watch. And DJ Young's had so much success, finishing points, couldn't quite convert there. Just deep on the return. DJ Young didn't love the call. We have a challenge the out call. The out call puts us at one He will challenge one. it. So Thomas Tadler there will proceed, to challenge. proceed with the challenge. No call was made and continuing to play ball here early in game two. And again, calling, taking that challenge and losing the timeout at 0-0. Again, if you're sure, sure, I get it. But now you only have one left for the remainder of this particular rally. And that's that landed at almost the exact spot. I was just going to say. Wow. So two missed Tyler Loon returns by a total of half an inch. Great little sharp angle that Young was able to hit as Alshon was coming in, set himself up for the big finish. And when you watch those two rallies in a row, you're like, that must be the best player in the world with DJ Young. Just beautiful flick, beautiful overhead before that. Can he sustain that to get them going and force a game three? And Dave, he has played pretty darn well this match oh, yeah. so far. Uh, his partner, Tyler Lung, hasn't played up to the caliber that he's capable of, but Zero, still three, early here in game number two. Out. I think Young forgot to bend his knees a little bit on that drive. Three, pretty yes. low attempt. His mouth was watering as he saw how short that return. And oh no, Tyler Lung, yeah, three backhand return I'm misses receivers. too deep. And that one's pulled one. well wide. And one he minute. is kicked for the remainder of game Four, two zero, here. Yeah, could be a very big deal if this game number two gets a little tighter. And that sails deep. And there's they have no recourse. Just like that, they have no recourse. And this is absolutely unheard of to see this many number of errors in a row from a player the caliber of Tyler Loom. Won't miss three returns for an entire tournament sometimes. And it is, it's been raining and pouring there in Daytona, but the errors just everywhere. Second, 
Nice lean in there, much needed Six, zero, two. exchange to just get something going here for Young and Loom here in game number two. All shot goes for a little too much. So six is the deficit, Zero, six, and they have got to go because that dude wants to play on Sunday desperately. Yeah. And DJ Young had a good look at one of those exact swings in game one, but Loon was a little one. close to him. He was all over that one. Loom continuing to just struggle to find his, his normal level here. Oh my, and after all the chaos, Tyler Loon sees a attack off the bounce after this is just, you want a telegraph drop shot, that's what that Six looks like. One. Both of them are gonna get to that. But they live to tell about it. Great read from the Ernie King there, and he has got to, maybe that's the thing. That gets him one, yeah, never really has an off day in that department from what I've seen. Yeah, a little bit of a mess in transition, no no bending. Yeah, yeah, and probably a ball that Alshon should leave for Connor Garnett. When you're the player in front of your opponent, you want to take offensive shots, but generally lay off the shots that are in that half volley defensive category. Tricky little attack from Young there, but Garnett handled it. Yeah, he's not an easy player to attack. Pretty committed with that two-handed backhand, but covers all the spots on his body very well with that approach. Good discipline there from Christian Alshon, not trying to do too much, continuing to make Tyler Loon create on that backhand side. Earned himself a pop up there. Point. Talked about that being probably the best pattern for Alshon and Garnett earlier in this match, and that certainly rang true throughout. Seven, one, one. Again, a player with a two-handed backhand doesn't like to be attacked in the body, but loves to extend the arm. So even though it's tricky from Young, it's Eight right one where one. you want it. No, absolutely. If it was a, a player with a one-handed backhand, that attack probably would have worked. And they are roaring down the stretch here. 9-1 in Nine game one one. two. Dodge from Connor Garnett, and we are play for the title point 
for Alshon and Garnett. And this duo has had it all working today, Dave. They've certainly earned getting in this huge position for them. Yep, no timeouts on the far side, so play on. Tom Hawk put away. It's a handy tool to have in your toolbox, especially when you're playing these elite athletes that seemingly can get any level of power back. Watch him turn that paddle over. That's what we mean by Tomahawk second chance to play on Sunday. Tyler Loom says not so fast with one of his patented jump backhand counters. Don't teach it that way. Yeah, he's not an easy player to attack. Connor Garnett, great at attacking with the two-handed backhand, so pretty good even battle with each of their strengths. But can't follow it up with even just getting the third in the kitchen to have a chance to fight forward. One, ten, two. And a slow ATP yes. through the middle of the court. Players often don't get enough angle to do that. And through the yeah, wickets, yeah. rather. Five hole for the overtime game winning goal for the Florida Panthers. Point. Yeah, much better job by Tyler Loong there. Not just making a dink, but pushing uh, Christian Alshon out of position, earning the error. Ah. So, third try here. And that will do it, and today 